So let's go over flossing of the obturator nerve. Now, a lot of times we'll get compression of the obturator nerve and, and we'll, a patient will experience groin pain or they actually may feel that they're unstable in their leg because the obturator nerve comes off of nerve roots of L2 to L4 and it innervates the adductors. Now, it travels directly underneath the pectineus muscle here. So, Mickey, we're gonna try a little flossing here before we actually get in there. You're gonna bring your leg to the side here. At the same time, I want you to bring your head back. Are you okay there? Yeah. Okay, so we've gotta be careful here because some patients will have problems with the cervical spine. So you wanna make sure they can actually perform the action, but in Mickey's case here, I'm just gonna get you to put your hand on the back of the head. So bring your head back, that way you can support it and if it becomes more difficult, then you won't put too much stress on the neck. Yeah. Feel okay there? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just gonna go up around where the pectineus is. Bring your leg over here, are you okay? Yeah. Bring your head back at the same time. Is that pretty tender in there? Yes. Oh, gosh. And back. So, gosh, mean yes, it's very tender? It's, it's quite tender. <laughs> <laughs> Over and back. So, at each point I'm going to go here, I'm going to maybe do about three or four passes in the area, and then I'm going to move on to the next section. So, some of the areas we really have to focus on are by the adductor longus brevis, but also the adductor magnus. Sometimes through repetitive motion, the adductor magnus will entrap the obturator nerve, but usually we see that more in terms of track athletes and uh, runners. Okay, now I'm gonna actually just come across and bring your head back. You doing okay there? Yeah. And back. So I'm not pushing too hard there. Good. Mickey's looking at me like that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> It's over there? Yeah. Okay, so let me just move it a little bit more radio here in the adductor magnus. Good. And again, bring the leg right in, taking it down. Good. Okay, what I want you to do now, I'm going to actually go up where the pectineus is again. Bring this down right to there. Is that as tender? Mm hmm. Bring your head forward instead of back now. Does tension increase quite a bit? Yeah. That's okay, <laughs> and bring it back. <laughs> okay, so we've gone to flossing to tensioning. Now, we want to spend a couple of weeks working with a patient and actually work on flossing, free up the nerve before you even attempt to do any tensioning on there. Okay, let's bring this down here. Good. Okay, not as bad as when I was with the pectineus there. No, still not at all. Okay, now, I want you to bring your head forward here a bit. That's not too, that's, that's pretty okay. tight still. It's, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Right okay. in that area or right, right in, in, that in area. right in that area? Yeah. So wherever I'm actually at there then, okay. And bring it back. So what we do is we probably take about three or four passes in each section. First work, work on the flossing, bring the head into extension. And then after that, when we saw a reduction in symptoms, mm -hmm. we start working on the tensioning of the nerve. But this is a very effective uh, technique. We probably combine this with some of the things when a person has a groin injury or they find that their leg is unstable or they start to notice altered sensation or paresthesias down the medial aspect of the leg. Really good technique.